So here we are today at SantaCon. Everybody's dressed up as Santa, apart from this guy, Craig Whitehead, aka Six Feet. <laughs> It makes your bum look big, does I it? I love it in my pictures, but not on me. All it's right. Too much attention. I've kind of made an effort. I've just in red to kind of camouflage myself up. But we've got this, the Sigma 40 millimeter f1.4. Let's go do some shooting. It's like the world's biggest Santa piss up. It's great. This is crazy. They're just everywhere. Santa's everywhere. And one thing is. I mean, you can't miss it. Look at it, it's, it's massive. It's huge, it's bigger than my face. Whereas the Canon 50mm f1.2L is fat, the 35mm f1.4L too a bit long, you'll definitely find the Sigma 40 fat, long, and heavy. That, that is one thing I don't like about this lens. It is massive. Look at that dong, wang. Look, let's, let's touch tips for a minute. My, my tip kind of engulfs your tip. It's a little bit front heavy. Even on this light, it's going to be massive. Okay. It will be available in Sony mount, but this is a Canon mount. I've got the Sigma adapter on, so probably won't focus as quick as it should do. I mean, 40 millimeters is a bit of weird focal length for some, but the good thing about it is, is it's kind of in between 35 and 50, and that's the good thing about it. It's not too wide, and it's not too narrow. Of course, it's, it's a Sigma lens, so it's got all of that USB kind of, or you can fiddle with it and change the settings. I don't know why you want to change settings with your lens, but you can also update your phone while using the USB, so... Santa's real, he's here. All of them are here. Friends of God, it could be ah! Got attacked by Brussels sprout. That's one reason not to like Brussels sprouts. I swear I thought you were good. Yeah, not anymore. Hello. Can you just uh, help me to... Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Um. I'm going to put loads of selfies of myself on the phone. Look at that. Fan. Oops. Sorry, I don't know how to use phone. There you go. One, two, three. There you go. Hope he likes it. So it's a heifer of a lens, but perhaps within that big body is a speed demon of an auto-focusing motor. Nah, it's a little bit slow on this. Vaping Santas. Vaping Santas. plumes of smoke every now and then. I want to see vaping Santas. Not much room to manoeuvre. 40, 40 is bordering on slightly too tight here. 50, no way. But I'm just worried that I'm going to smack somebody around the face with this lens. Like, look at that. Have a bit of it on your face. Anyway, Sigma make nice lenses, art lenses. Before, I have to say, I, I did make a little bit of a joke about Sigma lenses, but when they released this art lenses, I still made jokes, but <laughs> I stopped making jokes because they're really quite good, the art lenses. And this really is no different. In fact, this is probably the best art lens they've ever made. That's quite a statement, but on first impressions, it seems sharper than a lot of other standard lenses I've tried. When you open up the photos on the big screen, they are so sharp, the details are like a knife edge, crisper than reality. Anyway, back in the real world, let's spread some festive cheer by giving the gift of selfies. Lots of them. You know. It's no excuse for not getting a present this year. Christ, it's Santa with his knob out. Santa knob out, knob out Santa. There we are. One thing you might find with super sharp lenses though, is sometimes you get too much detail. Russell Sprout's being thrown everywhere. I'm thrown everywhere. With this sticking out, at least if it's going to hit me, it's going to hit something about a foot in front of me. That's all right, he's, he's got some balls. I, oh, I can see them. They're, they're swinging about. 
I mean, this is not the fastest lens. I mean, I'm not talking about aperture in terms of focus. Look, it's not super slow. Sometimes these large aperture big primes can be like that. You buy these lenses for the speed though, in terms of that f-stop. Stop down, the results are pretty outstanding with low distortion and a field of view closest to what the human eye sees. This 40mm out standards, a typical standard lens. The icing on the pudding is the bokeh balls. The bokeh is nice. I mean, for what it's worth, the bokeh is pretty nice with this lens. Oh, get out. I've got sprout juice on my lens. People aren't friendly pros. These are vicious. These are vicious. These are probably. This is the this is the festive spirit they're talking about. You know, have a bit of Russell Crowe in your face. It's big, it's unwieldy, but a huge performer. Even wide open, it's crazy sharp, and it's a Sigma. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think this is sharper than any other art lens. In fact, sharper than a lot of other lenses. All right, okay, yeah, it's sharp, but that doesn't really mean much until we put that into context by comparing to some other lenses. Yes, I compared it to the Canon 50mm and a 35mm f1.4L. I didn't just hire those lenses just for the purpose of showing how big the Sigma lens is. I did some test shots, and here they are. So this is the Sigma, and just opening it, I don't even need to zoom in. You can just see how sharp it is, the detail, the just how dirty my floor is. Check out the text, just you can see how crisp that is. And then let's compare that to the 35 1.4 L2. The image from the Sigma just seems to pop just that a little bit more. But then let's look close up even more. You can, you can just see, you can see the text and also towards the edges, the Canon is a little bit softer than the Sigma. I mean, the Canon 35 is pretty sharp in the center. Wow, the Sigma's sharp in the center as well. Just for a bit of fun, we're gonna compare it to the 50 1.2L. Right, so you, you might not be able to see this if you're sitting about 10 foot away. It's like being sure, it's, it's like looking at something where your glasses on. It's so soft at 1.2. I mean, of course, when you're not cropping, when you're not zooming in, you won't notice. It's all about that bokeh, isn't it? But when you do look in close, when you pixel peep, mm, no, I don't really wanna be peeping actually, because that's Sigma. Let's see how far we have to stop down the Canon before we can equal that sharpness of the Sigma. 1.4, yeah, 1.8, 2.8. We're getting there, f4, 5.6. You know what, forget it. The Sigma's sharper than the 51.2L, no matter what, and that's wide open. So there we are, the Sigma is a lens that is incredibly chunky, but incredibly sharp. It's, it's better than a lot of the things I've tested ever. In terms of bokeh, the Sigma has better looking bokeh than the Canon 35 1.4L2, with the 35 looking kinda okay to slightly harsh. The Sigma 40, while not perfect, shows some smoother looking bokeh. The Canon 50mm f1.2 hours is the smoothest bokeh, although not uniform throughout the frame, and suffers from more chromatic aberration than the Sigma 40 and Canon 35. Optically though, it's hard to fault the Sigma. It would be interesting to see how it performs against the Zeiss Otis lenses, but then the Zeiss 55 is 4K. The Sigma is $1,300, which makes it almost 400 cheaper than the Canon 35, and a similar price to the Canon 50mm f1.2L. The focal length might be weird, and the weight and size might be off-putting, but if you're looking for a focal length that has the benefits of a 35 and 50, then this is going to be tough to beat. Turn the camera on yourself, Odane. Check out his Instagram, by the way. Six three under. Is this better or worse than you expected? Uh, both. <laughs> it's 